Hey guys, how's it going? Brad Riley here and welcome to another video. And in this one today, I'm going to be going through the reasons why you may be having a drastic drop off from add to carts to purchases. I'm going to show you exactly how we can resolve this for yourself and your clients and ultimately, which will lead to better results and increased retention in your agency. So I highly recommend you stay until the end. So if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video and let's jump into it. So the first reason you may be having a major drop off from add to cart to purchases is due to extra hidden fees such as shipping costs and taxes. Now look, the world we live in right now with Amazon means that you can get pretty much anything delivered for free, especially if you have something like Amazon Prime set up. Most of online e-commerce businesses these days are offering next day shipping, free shipping. And it's really important that if you have a client that is running an e-commerce business, that they are somewhat competitive with this. Because look, if you could get all the way to checkout, say it's a hundred dollar product, you get there to buy. And then at the end, it's like $20 extra for shipping. That is gonna put a lot of people off. They're just gonna to go to Amazon and get it there. So what is the solution to this? What we recommend to all of our clients when we're seeing this level of drop off is that if they're charging for shipping, that actually what they do is they incorporate it into the cost of their product, even if that means increasing the price of the product to account for that. So if it's $20 shipping, $100 product, you could go ahead and make the, the product $120 and then you get the option to blast free shipping all over the website. This will increase conversions. You could also meet in the middle, make the, make the product 110, you eat a bit of the shipping cost, and, and, and again, you charge like a hidden charge, I suppose, for, that, uh, for those extra uh, shipping fees inside of that. What that will do is I promise you, we've seen that time and time again for our clients, it will increase conversions and reduce drop off that you get. The second thing, incredibly important, lack of payment methods. Look, you could be going to buy a product and you know what you're about to buy, but they don't accept the type of card that you have. They don't accept PayPal and that's where you've got all your funds right now. It's really important if you want to increase the chance that people get to literally to the stage where they're ready to input their payment information, that you accept the payment information that they have. You know, this could be Afterpay, PayPal, you know, make sure you have Visa, MasterCard, all of that good stuff. I promise it will make a massive difference. We've seen this with clients before, just getting them to add a PayPal button option to their checkout of the website has made a drastic decrease in the amount of drop off from add to carts to purchases. And when you think about it, if there's a decrease, we're still getting the same amount of add to carts, but if more of them can in, in, in actually in turn turn into a purchase, we're getting higher return for our clients on our advertising, they're happier and our retention increases. So with a lot of these things, it's not a case of just understanding why it may be happening, but feed this back to your clients so they understand, okay, this may be a conversion rate problem on my website and this marketing team, this agency that I've hired are helping me with this. It will make them over the moon and feel extremely happy that you've been there to over deliver. But also if they do in turn execute that and it increases results because of it, you're going to have happier clients and you're going to increase your retention because you'll be making them more money. So it's a win, win, win. The third thing, this is broader, but again, very important, lack of authority and lack of brand trust. What could this mean? This could be no testimonials on their website, no reviews. If you're Googling, Google, Google the company, nothing comes up. They're not on TripAdvisor if it's a hotel, you know, they're not, um, they're not on Trustpilot, that they don't have any kind of reviews if you go onto Google. This can be a big red flag for a lot of companies. You know, and, and think about the difference it can make. Someone's about, they've added to cart, they're about to buy, like, you know what, it doesn't seem that established. It can put people off. Trust is everything. So what is the solution? Recommend to your clients that they blast results, um, reviews, testimonials, customer feedback all over their website because humans are like sheep. It's called social proof. If they see someone else likes it, it make them, makes them fit, believe, you know what, I'm probably going to like this too. And it increases the chance that they convert. This isn't only going to help the conversion rate when it comes to add to cart drop offs, but in general with your website, this is going to increase conversions to the amount of people that you get into your site. So this is like a, a double benefit here, but again, incredibly, incredibly important. The fourth one, massive delivery times. You've seen it, especially with drop shipping stores, right? You go to buy the product and it tells you just as you're about to pay, it's going to take 25 to 30 days for your product to, to be received. I mean, straight away, if that's me, I'm not buying, especially when you've got Amazon 
Amazon Prime, I can get everything next day and in, in some scenarios, even same day delivery in some of the biggest cities in the world. So why would you wait 25, 30, 40, even two weeks a week to receive your product when you could go on Amazon, maybe pay just a couple dollars more, but get it same or next day. So this is really, really important. And it, you know, if your clients have this, I would really recommend to them that they look in, in, and speak to potentially new suppliers or, 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 or new options for them to, to get delivery times on a much quicker basis. If they have to pay a bit more for this, if they have to pay a little bit of an extra cost because you know they're, they're paying for sped up shipping times, the return on investment will be huge because for me, this is one of the biggest things that will completely screw, like crush your chances of improving your in, 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 increased conversion rate from add to carts to purchases. So yeah, make sure that your client's shipping times are on point and competitive. Next up, a slow and clunky website. Look, we live in the day and age right now where dopamine is everywhere. TikTok, fast, fast, fast. Social media, engagement, likes, comments, fast moving content. Our attention span as the human race is dropping. So if you go onto a website you're about to buy and the website's not loading, it's slow, it's clunky, it's taking ages to be able to buy it and the user experience is bad, guess what? With how low the attention span is of people this day and age, it's likely that that will be enough for them to be like, you know what? I can't be bothered, oh, I'll buy this on Amazon, I'll buy it tomorrow. And guess what? Tomorrow never happens. Really important that you make sure your clients understand, you know, speak to a web person who can help them increase their page load times. Make sure the website isn't clunky and, and make sure it's fast so it's a really good user experience. If you do this, this will be a, a game changer, I promise. And again, I don't know off the top of my head, but if you Google it, there is a lot of websites out there which will show you the speed of your page um, and that that actually takes to load. So you could feed this information back to your client and say, look, we've noticed a drop off of add to cart. Your page load time is in the bottom 10%. We need to improve this. I highly recommend you that you do X, Y, and Z or speak to this person. You know, that'll be, make a massive difference. And then finally, this is a difficult conversation to have with your clients. Often you're not in the position to even do this, but it could just be down to bad product market fit, an overpriced bod product, a bad product. And if this is the scenario, look, if you work with established brands, this won't, won't, won't ever happen because if you work with established companies, they'll have all of these things in place anyway, making your life so much easier as an advertiser. But look, I'm a realist. I know when you start your agency, it's a lot more likely that you will work with startups and beginner companies more so than the top 1% companies in the world when you are just starting out. That's fine. But if you try all of these things, test all of these things, and you'll often notice this often doesn't show with a drop off of add to carts to purchases. If the product is bad, overpriced, you probably won't even get people to the stage of add to cart. You'll often notice this could be down to a lot of web visitors, but no high end intention when it comes to viewing content, add to cart, initiating checkout, adding payment info and stuff like that. And if that comes to that and you've exhausted everything else, I think personally, you need to do the right thing as an agency and say to your customer, look, we've exhausted all of this. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to make this work. And you move on to a better, higher quality client where you can get solid retention from them and get them better results. But there we have it. I hope you found a bunch of value in this video. If you are interested in any high level training and education, I've got information on my program down below. And if you do run an agency and you're looking to hire a media buyer, someone to run ads for your clients on behalf of your agency, we actually now offer a white label service here in my in-house UK based team where you can work with my media buyers and we'll extend our service to your agency and your clients. We can handle Slack communication results. And again, we even go to them with this type of information when we know that we're having a conversion rate problem on the website. So if you're interested in that, you run an agency, all the links to book a call with one of my media buyers will be down below. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.